Hello and welcome to the first video in the Angles in a Polygon playlist. This video is going to look at how we can work out the total amount of angles in any polygon with any amount of sides. First of all I'm going to go through a definition of what a polygon actually is. So a polygon is a 2D shape with three or more straight sides. So it goes all the way from triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, all the way up to however many sides you want in a polygon. I'm going to use a triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon and a hexagon to try and show you how we can work out the total amount of angles in a polygon. So to begin with, with a triangle, I hope that we all know that there's one triangle there, so one triangle has 180 degrees. So we all know that in a triangle there's 180 degrees. If I move to look at a quadrilateral, so a four-sided shape, it might look something like this, then you probably already know that they add to 360 degrees, but if I show you how using angles in a triangle, I'm going to look at splitting this shape up into triangles because we know how many angles there are in a triangle. If I was going to split this up into triangles, I've got one triangle and I've got two triangles. So for each triangle there's 180 degrees and I've got two of them so my 360 came from doing two lots of 180 degrees. So two triangles, 180 degrees in each triangle. Two lots of 180 gives me 360. If I was going to look at a pentagon, a five-sided shape, so if I split it into triangles again, so I'm going to come from this corner down here and then across here, so I've got one, two, three triangles this time. So three triangles, I'm going to do three lots of 180 degrees, which gives me 540 degrees in a five-sided shape. Again, if I move on to a six-sided shape, I'm going to do exactly the same method. So I've got a six-sided shape here and I'm going to split it into triangles. So I'm going to come across from this point this time. So I've got one triangle, two triangles, three triangles and four triangles. So a six-sided shape, we've got four triangles, so four lots of 180 degrees, which gives me 720 degrees. So we've looked at four different polygons and how many angles are in each of those four different polygons. I'm going to use a table now to sum up what I've just said and then generalise it at the end for how we can work out the total amount of angles in any polygon. So using this table, I've got the number of sides of my shape, how many triangles I could split that shape into, how I worked out how many angles there are, and then the total amount. So when I had a triangle with three sides, there was one triangle so I did one lot of 180 which gives me 180. When I did my quadrilateral I did two lots of 180 because I had two triangles there. So I had two triangles, two lots of 180 to give me 360 degrees. When I had my five-sided shape I could split that into three triangles Three lots of 180 gives me 540. Then when I had my hexagon, it's a six-sided shape, I split that into four triangles, so I did four lots of 180, which gave me 720. Hopefully you can spot a pattern with the number of triangles that are in a shape, so you can see it's going up in ones, so two, three, four, going to have five triangles in a seven sided shape, six triangles, seven, eight triangles. And then to get this one, I did the number in this column times by 180. So for this one, I'm going to do five times 180, and then six times 180, then seven times 180, and then we get down to the last one, eight times 180. Then if I work these out using a calculator, I get 900 degrees 
for a five-sided shape, 1080 degrees for an eight-sided shape, 1260 degrees for a nine-sided shape, and then 1440 degrees for a ten-sided shape. Now I've shown you a way that we can work out how many degrees there are in a polygon, but I would prefer it if we knew how to work out how many degrees there are in a polygon with any amount of sides. So if I asked you for a polygon with 25 sides, how many degrees there is going to be in that shape. So I'm going to use the letter N to try and generalise this. I've let N be the number of sides that a shape has got. And I want to use the letter N to work out how many triangles there is going to be in that shape. If I look at a pattern between all of the numbers we've got, to go from the number of sides to the number of triangles, to go from 3 to 1, I took away 2, to go from 4 to 2, I took away 2, from 5 to 3, I took away 2. So it looks like I'm taking away 2 every single time. So this column, take away 2, would give me this column. So I'm going to do n, take away 2. The number of sides, take away 2, tells me how many triangles are in that shape. To get my number for this column, I did how many triangles I had times by 180. This time, we don't actually know how many triangles we've got, but we've got an expression for it. We've got n minus 2, and then I'm going to times that by 180. So this formula here will tell me for any amount of sides in a polygon, my letter n, I take away 2 and then times it by 180, and it tells me how many degrees I've got in that shape. If I use that formula to go through an example, so I have the formula was n minus 2 times by 180. So n was the amount of sides I had on my polygon. So say I wanted to know how many angles there are in a 12 sided shape. So that means that n is going to equal 12. So I can just substitute this value into my formula. So I have 12 take away 2 times by 180, which would give me 10 times 180, which equals 1,800 degrees. So then I know that in a 12-sided shape, there's 1,800 degrees. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.